your vice president or running mate, how are you going to get one? What do you mean, how am I going to get one? What's the procedure the, the, you're going to adopt? The same manner everybody gets a vice president, we have a set of uh, criteria we're looking for. Do you have one already? We will be announcing one very shortly. What's the... What should we expect from your running mate? Um, you should expect that there would be people largely with integrity, people who understand how the world works, uh, uh, people who understand that this country needs to really, really have a big shift in terms of uh, the way we do business, even with ourselves and the rest of the Would world. Ethnicity and uh, regional yes, balance, balance matter? will be a part. Yes. Religion? Yeah. Um, no. Religion, no matter. No. So you, you're a Christian? I mean, uh, I'm, a, I'm a very staunch Christian, yes. You're going to choose a Christian as a running mate? I, I will not disclose that now. You will see our running mate You choose soon. a northerner? I would happily choose a northerner. But would means you may or may not, w would you? Umaro, this is going to come out pretty soon. I think just as Ghanaians have been... you a woman? I... <laughs> I think you're pushing this. And, and what I'm I have asking. to... You're asking. What I'm also saying to you is that just as Ghanaians had patience to uh, see the, the inauguration of our manifesto mm. uh, and were excited about it, I guarantee Ghanaians will be excited about my VIP. I have seen somewhere that you were part of a coalition of independent poli um, presidential aspirants. Political aspirants. Yes, and then mm. you were supposed to have some gentleman's agreement for one mm. person to be the candidate and another to be running mate. Mm -hmm. And you boycotted after you lost I did the... not boycott. That's what the happened? wrong term to use. Okay, what, did, what happened? Um, there was um, a stab in the, uh, the value of integrity. And so I, I walked off because the truth is that I promised Ghanaians that every step of the way we're doing this right from this campaign all the way to uh, uh, running for office and getting into office was going to be based on integrity. What was the idea? The idea was to have one of you independent So there guys. were a number of independent candidates. Yeah, up to what, five? Um, Six actually. Six. If you uh, actually seven, if you add Joy and uh, okay. the others. So one was supposed. Our... You were supposed to gen agree, agree, and choose one of you as a we, leader. We had a number of uh, criteria. We set about five criteria. You know, uh, the debate was one of those criteria. Mm -hmm. uh, having uh, feet on the ground was one of those criteria. Having social media presence. Um, having a manifesto, or at least a, a solid plan to move this okay. country forward, and then uh, having some infrastructure to be able to raise uh, support uh, funding-wise was one of those. Um, at a point that was set aside um, because of time, they felt, you know, we wouldn't have time to go through all that process. So there was an agreement to say, you know what, let's go on this debate. Let's choose who can appeal to the people the most. Uh, mm. We all agreed on that. We went in. Uh, Joy put out four polls. Um, eventually, the steering committee decided they were only going to use one poll out of the, out of the four. Mm. Uh, the Gun for Ghana agenda won on three out of the four polls. The very one they chose to uh, use was the only one on which my, 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 my colleague uh, won on. And we just thought that process was not fair. And the reason why we thought it was not fair was that Ghanaians stayed up late uh, to watch that debate. Ghanaians stayed up late uh, two days in a row to vote um, for who they, they felt their choice was. And so to have won on three out of the four and we get told that, you know, we're going to put aside everything Ghanaians stood up to vote for. It's unacceptable. What do you say to people who say, look, you just wanted to be on the ballot and because you didn't get that opportunity, you decided to walk? I'm still going to be on the ballot. Yeah, but you would have been a vice running mate and you are not no, going to be I'm on the ballot. I'm still going to be on the ballot. Oh, you, Maro, look, the, the reality is that we have started this campaign longer than any So any you're not a sour loser? I'm not a sour loser. As a matter of fact, this is proof of my level of integrity. Let's test your level of knowledge of Ghana. How well do you know Ghana? I know Ghana reasonably okay. Where knowing Ghana means knowing Ghanaians, but how about knowing the geography of Ghana? How well do you know Ghana? It, it depends on how you want to look at it. I mean, I don't know every crony and crevice of this country. Um, I have moved around a bit. Have you taught the whole country? Um, I have taught a substantive part of this country. In fact, the as a matter part, of fact, the northern part? Which uh, part? Pretty much. Uh, have you visited all 16 regions? Yes, I have. All of them? Yes. The regional capitals? Yes. Have you gone to some districts in some of the... I have been to some districts, yeah. You have gone to... Actually, uh, to be honest, I was actually... We had started our tour in the north uh, in the first week of March. Mm -hmm. No, in the second week of March. Uh, so we were actually COVID. in Tamale. No, we were actually in Tamale. This was the second week in March, a very early uh, stage of the second week. And then uh, two weeks later, we were told that, you know... Uh, 
uh, COVID and they were getting ready. We, we had intel they were getting ready to shut down. So we actually had to uh, curtail everything and come back. And come back. Uh, so that has affected, you know, our movement. So you just around. spent two weeks. You I just that, no, but before two, that, no, mm. before that, I had taught pretty much quite a lot um, last year. Uh, last year, 2019, especially, yeah, we had visited quite a number of universities and the various districts that we we could get. To. Let's talk about the region you come from. How well do you know the Eastern Corridor, and what do you think is a problem with the Eastern Corridor? What as in the infrastructure? The road, yes, the Eastern Corridor road. I, I think that is an issue of commitment. Uh, that's the way I see it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know what the NDC's issues are. I don't what know what opportunities do you think would be accrued from developing the Eastern Corridor Road? It will open up the economy. Um, it will open up the economy largely. Um, and one of the things I've often said is that, um, and it, you would see it in my manifest, in our manifesto, is that we need to find a very uh, strategic way of connecting all the regions together. Mm. Uh, if using one single track infrastructure by road the, or train by road and by train by train largely by by train when we say by train what we want to do is to connect the north to the south how do you plan to do that we have a plan for the central corridor the eastern corridor yeah. and the western corridor yeah. for the rail sector is that the yeah. same structure you're going to it use it is or the you have same a different plan? structure but we we want to improve that a bit and connect the dots give That's, me a physical plan what um, you have. so you, you would have seen it in our manifesto and share if it with you, me because uh, uh, unfortunately i don't me. have okay let me let me i, I I'm, I'm quite no you can say so. it without uh, Without. Yes, uh, so okay. if you have a plan on paper that you have properly um, I actually on. have a plan here that I can share with you um, that is actually uh, uh, obvious enough for you to see. Um, and basically, okay, I can access that. So basically what we're doing is there's two, two ways we want to look at it. One is to have a straight route, uh, road and train network from here all the way down south. Uh, sorry, that, up north. Okay. Um, and that using is which towns using, and cities? Using what? Using what towns and cities? Going oh, through it's, what it's one straight route all the way. It goes through uh, from... So at the very bottom, it splits into three. We are one comes straight to Accra. Mm -hmm. One goes via off to Tema. The other goes straight to Takradi. And that is intentionally done to ensure that uh, so, so, commercial... Sorry, sorry, sorry say that again. One via off to where? Yeah, at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. It's a straight route from north to south, okay. but when it gets to the eastern region, one veers directly off to Tema. Which part of the eastern region? Uh, this is something that my engineers will have to. I'm okay. just, I'm just giving That's you a, fine. a, a whole. So in eastern picture. region, it splits into three. It splits into three. One, one comes goes... straight to Accra. Mm -hmm. uh, one heads straight into Tema Habo. The other goes straight to Takradi Habo. Do, do and you, intentionally, do you, have we the, do, do you have the geographical sense of this area so that I could debate you a bit further, or you want your engineers to do that? Because I, I think this I'm is something at, that I can, I can picture it. Because we already have going. a route coming to Accra. Mm -hmm. We have different routes into but it's Accra not, from the, the north. reason why we're talking about the split, Omaro, mm -hmm. uh, and this is where for me it is exciting that needs to explore, mm -hmm. is that we want to connect the commercial hubs largely through exports. Mm -hmm. What we currently have is everything has to come through Accra. Um, or the Tema motorway. Do you know you can go to the north without coming through Accra from Tema? I, yes, I know. I know so, that. So I don't get your your. Yeah, third, but the, your... the point the point we are the reason why we're doing it that way, Umaro, is that the way we have envisaged it is that if you take the train lines, for example, that are coming from the north to south. Mm -hmm. The idea behind this is during the day, and this are is... Are we talking about train now or road? The, the split We're thing. talking about both. Okay. And so if you look at our manifesto, one of the things we've described is what we call the Freedom Project. Mm -hmm. That is a combination of both road uh, and train. And I think you should so take a quick side. look side by side. And I think okay. you should take a look so at it. So the north starts from where? The north starts from Paga okay. all the way down. So Paga, so then right Bolga, straight down. and continues yes. to Tamale, then yes. Kumasi. Um... Yes, and it, then it comes and to... And then, so it, it, it traverses the border between, uh, right through, you know where the savannah joins the uh, uh, the north? Yes, it's called right. Fufuso Junction. Fufu, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I'm not sure about the name, but it traverses that boundary all the... So it's a really straight route down. Mm. Um, and we're not saying for some of this, we are building totally new roads. They're if already they are, existing yeah, infrastructure. They're already existing road yes. facilities. We want to expand them and make sure they connect to that one single track. And then you split it at the bottom. And yes. And one has to Takradi. One has to Accra, you know, one has to Takradi. And the reason why we're... Do you know from Takradi, you don't necessarily come to a, need to come to Accra to head up north? Yeah, but that is not what we are creating. 
The reason why we're doing no, that, that, there's Omar, already an existing structure. I, like I know that. there's an existing structure, which is why earlier I said to you that part of the process is ensuring that we are enjoining these existing structures into one main structure. How about the Western and the Eastern corridors? What was your plan with them? Um, the Western and the Eastern corridor, we so there's an alternative angle we're looking at that from, um, and this is what we're calling the Yasantua Secular, uh, okay. which is largely to use all the little little roads that join all the various region into one big spell that is an oval pretty okay. much, that connects every single region. Um, and the reason why we're doing this, Umaro, is that we need to open up this economy. Okay. Um, and we want to open it using three categories in mind. Agriculture, so mm -hmm. it opens up for agriculture, so it opens up for logistics, mm -hmm. and so it opens up for tourism. 